Microphone check check two one three. Microphone check check two one three. We are on and rocking. Want to welcome everyone to the video today. I'm going to be covering your websites. I'm going to be covering your Google profile rankings and how you guys stack up against your competitors. On top of that, I'm going to look at your website and run what's called a on-page SEO analysis. Okay, so that's a tool that I use. It's a tool that I pay money for, but it's completely worth it. I'm going to be doing that for you guys today. So let's go ahead and dive into it. I'm going to be checking out a total of three websites and three Google profiles. Each website is part of the Google profile. So we're going to be doing both. So a total of three different photo booth businesses for today. So thank you guys for participating. Thank you for being a patron on my page. Let's go ahead and dive into this right now. I'm going to share my first screen and we're going to dive into the first website. And by the way, guys, as you guys already know, I want you to thrive. I want your business to blossom. So I'm going to be very direct, blunt, and bold on some of the things that stand out to me, guys. If you are um, sensitive, because I understand this is your first baby, you know, this is your first business, don't take it like that, okay? So if I come across your website or Google profile and say something that you find offensive, uh, you know, direct direct message me, let me know. But quite honestly, guys, I am doing this out of love. And this is the reason why I created the Patreon page because I want people that are business oriented and have that state of mind to collaborate here with me. And I'm only doing this, guys, because I want you to succeed. I really want you guys to grow. I want you guys to thrive in this business. And uh, too bad for your competitors, right? Because here's the thing. I can't work with people too close to my proximity. So that's just the truth. And the same thing happens. If we take it a step further, guys, and I take over, for example, your Google profile and I help you rank it and someone else wants me to provide them with the same service, I'm going to have to kindly decline, especially if they are closer within a 25 mile radius, because I do want you guys to get the biggest piece of the pie. Let's dive into it right now. So um, let me go ahead and share my screen here with you guys. I'm going to go ahead and start off with, we're starting off today with Bigfoot event party rentals. So let's just check, take a look at the website. There's, I want to say there's a, there's a lot going on. We got big wording, right? We got the logo right here on the right side. And then we have what seems to be another logo over here on the left side. So that right away, that could be minimized and just keep the logo very simple on one side. We do have some videos right here playing. All right. So that's uh that's good because we are visual human beings and we love to see results. One thing that I would recommend is if these videos are just uploaded as actual files, it would be more beneficial if you have these videos on YouTube and then have the hyperlink URL inside of your website so that your website and YouTube point to one another. That's definitely going to help with the algorithm. That that's that's actually a big deal. So if you guys are not doing that, please do that. We have some photos going on right here. Um, let's see. Sorry, our tents are currently all booked up. So go ahead and just remove this. If you don't have the tents, don't don't show it off because what, what I want to explain to you guys is when it comes to your website, keep it very clean, very simple, but yet still informative. So uh, I would probably get rid of this. And then uh, we have some animation going on down here. And this will take us to... Yep, to the Instagram page. So now that I'm actually in the Instagram page, let's go ahead and talk about a little bit about the Instagram page for Bigfoot event and party rentals. So right here, guys, in this section, this is a section that you really have to take advantage of because there's only so many characters you can put in, right? So what I would do, for example, is I would uh, use, on right here on the very top, I would use the golden keyword for your business, basically the, the breadwinner, right? In my if, in my case, the breadwinner, the golden keyword for me right now to this day is 360 photo booth rental. That's the keyword that brings in the amount of leads that are keeping this business going. That's the keyword I have high authority over of. Uh, and, and I want you guys to have the same type of results. So right here on the top, I would probably change it from Bigfoot event party rentals to just 360 photo booth rentals. And then right here in the bottom part, I would do something like this. And I'm, I'm going to use actually my Instagram uh, just to show you guys that I, I, what I, what I preach, I do. So let's go ahead and find my profile right here really quick. Um, 
Okay, perfect. So it's quite simple. As you guys can see, it's Canary Capital Rentals, right? And now Canary Capital Rentals is associated with 360 Photo Booth because I've been putting out content and I'm always including Canary Capital Rentals within the hashtag. But as you guys uh, could pay attention, 360 Photo Booth Rental, that's a keyword. Audio Guest Book Rental, that's another long tail keyword. And then we have Photo Booth Rental, that's another keyword. And then San Bernardino, just to give me that proximity, right? That city location. And then of course, it's, it's a little repetitive, but I did include my business name right here. And then need pricing question mark. When you ask someone, it gets them thinking versus just making statements. So if someone comes to my Instagram and says, oh, need pricing, let me go ahead and text and call this phone number, okay? So I uh, just wanted to share this with you guys. I hope you guys can apply some of the, th some of the things I'm covering with you guys again. So right here, like I said, uh, just kind of do a better job at keeping everything concise and in uniform uh, that way, not only the, the audience, but the algorithm can can uh, can pick this up. So that's uh, that's that. Let's go ahead and continue looking at the website right here really quick. Um, let's go to 360 Photo Booth. Let's see what we got. <clears throat> right here at the very, very top, this, uh, this is taking up way too much space on your website, and it really doesn't bring any value to the person who just logged into your website. So where it says a surround photo booth, like I said, I would shrink that as much as possible and just have information that's actually gonna help the prospect make the decision whether they wanna call you or just straight out book with you, right? So that's my feedback right there. These are huge, this is a huge photo. Uh, if you can make this photo smaller, remember, just kind of keep everything compact and concise. On, on my uh, on my website, I do have a larger video, but that larger video is a well high quality video that when you go into my website, it gives you the experience of like, I want to experience that. I want my event to look very similar to that. That's the vibe that I am looking for. That's why I want to hire. So I do take up a good amount of space when you first log onto my website, because that is what I want people to cap. Uh, I want to captivate people with that video that I am using on my website. So wanted to point that out there. So when I make a statement, I'm always going to try to back it up as far as why my philosophy is aligned with that point of view. And then I'm going to have, of course, experience and facts to back that up. And so that's exactly what we're doing. So for example, this entire little section right here, guys, this is a website, but it reminds me of the older uh, websites, like the infomercial websites. So let, let's just, like I said, clean this up as much as possible. And what's interesting is yeah, so there's just too much going on. What we can do right here, guys, is we can actually make this website a lot simpler, but still very informative by, like I said, shrinking a few things and then reformatting a few things. Now, this is what's what this is the visual that I am getting, right? However, let's see what the uh, what, what a what a filtration system that checks out the the keywords, is, is, is looking like, because that's very important because I could be looking at the most beautiful website, but if the H1s and H2s are not good, then all you're gonna have is a beautiful website with almost no traffic because the algorithm doesn't know exactly what your website is. So with that being said, let's go ahead and dive into that right now. I'm gonna go ahead and activate my keywords everywhere. And I'm gonna turn it on then really easily. And that's the SEO minion. I'm going to analyze the on-page SEO. All right. So, all right, right away, man. And, and I'm glad you sent me your, your website because it does need work. And I'm glad I'm able to look at it and give you that feedback. Because like I said, guys, I do want you guys to succeed. Now for the H1, it's picnic tables. That's it. So you're when you go into a library and you're looking for a book, this is basically the title of the book, Picnic Tables. But the book that you picked up, when you open it, you realize like, oh, uh, there's a there's a there's a 360 photo booth. Oh, it's located in uh, Southwest Ohio, and oh, there's other rental supplies. But you see, the the picnic uh, tables is a title that our people are seeing, and picnic tables is what the algorithm is seeing. And then so we want to make sure we change picnic tables to 360 photo booth rental, and then your city, and then the H1 right here. There's you're not um, there's absolutely no H1. There's just a dot. I've never seen just a dot before. So we got to make sure, guys, that we, we put another golden keyword right in there. It could be basically photo booth rental and then our city. And then uh, right here, we could put 
360 video booth, right? Because 360 video booth is a similar keyword that does have search volume on a monthly basis. And then again, uh, here at section fourth, there's it's only a period and then H1, uh, pop-up tents. So if you are doing pop-up tents, if you're doing picnic tables, then let's have a section for 360 photo booth rental, picnic table rentals, pop-up tent rentals, and have that be an H1 for every section, okay? So with that being said, let's go ahead and move on to your Google profile. All right, let's do that. All right, so the big uh, Bigfoot event party rentals uh, is a par party rentals, of course, is a solid keyword to have. One thing that I would like to point out is right here where it says GMB categories. So it, you strike me more as an owner that has, you know, more than just a photo booth and does the party rentals, which is great because that's the GMB category that you selected as party equipment rental service. But did you know that you can also add a wedding planner, but most importantly, you can add photo booth. I want you to add photo booth to your GMB category so you can start ranking as well for photo booth within that GMB category. So at this at this moment, you only have one, and that's party equipment rental services. So please, uh, when you have a time, when you have some time, please dive into your Google profile and go into your settings and add more GMB categories. Photo booth mandatory. Let's put that in there, please. All right. Uh, but by the way, congratulations on 35 reviews. And it, it looks like they're all five stars. So we're just going to take a quick look at your reviews. 360 photo booth. I love that. 360 photo booth right there. See, I like that the people that are leaving your reviews are, are nice enough to just leave a couple sentences with some couple of uh, keywords right there. And that's the word that we want to rank for is 360 photo booth. So congrats on that. And let's just see the newest about two months ago. Okay. Two months ago, I got it. all right, all right. No problem because that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna we're gonna start pivoting and arming ourselves with the right tools so that we can get reviews on a weekly basis. All right, uh, photos. I see some photos, but let's take a look at the photos real quick. I'm just curious here. remove photos guys start removing photos that are not your uh, photos meaning like they're stock photos that you you got from google now the algorithm is so damn smart that it can look at a a um, a photo like this for example and then it traces it to someone else and it hurts your ranking okay so just a quick heads up guys the algorithm can now actually read the photo so for example if you i'll give you a perfect example so this right here, 360 photo booth, right? If we see this picture, right? And then they post a picture like, for example, this photo, right? Since they're right next to each other. So if I put these two photos side by side, and this one is, uh, they're ranking, they're trying to rank for the same word, which is 360 photo booth rental. This photo, it's gonna get scanned by you know artificial intelligence algorithm whatever you want to call it and it's going to see that there's an actual 360 photo booth and an attendant right here with the lights so it, it's actually able to see what the what the picture has so this picture would rank much higher for the word 360 photo booth than this picture right here even though this picture says photo booth so that's something i recently learned and i want you guys to use everything i'm sharing with you so that you guys can start seeing some progress as we move forward as a community. All right. One thing I also want to do for you, uh, Bigfoot event and party rentals is this. Let's go ahead and put your information and see um, how you're stacking up against your, your competitors. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab, let me see here. I'm going to grab a link. Where's the links at? What would you put the links, Dave? Don't worry, man. They're right here. All right, all right. Just checking, bro. You're staying on top of your game, homie. Damn. All right, so we're going to run a scan. This tool is called Local Falcon. See, you guys are part of the Patreon page because, one, I could tell you guys that you guys definitely want to invest and you definitely want to stay, take a, stay, a step forward in the right direction and, you know, grow, grow, grow your business. And I understand that that's why you guys decided to, to join the channel. So Local Falcon, guys, every time I run a scan, it, 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 uh, it's, I spend money, but it's totally worth it. And I'm going to be doing this for you guys as a courtesy uh, because I love you. And I want you guys to, like I said, I, I like people helping themselves. And then when I see that and they're struggling, but they're helping themselves, that's the part when I dive in and be like, bro, 
tag me in, you know, because those are the type of people I want to help, people that help themselves. So we're going to see if we can get Bigfoot event and party rentals to come up here on Local Falcon and see if it pops up. If it pops up, I'll be able to run a scan and see how you're doing for the keyword, for example, 360 photo booth rental uh, in your area. So I see that you popped up right here, which is a positive indicator. And then we're going to look for the keyword. We're going to try 360 photo booth. Just 360 photo booth. Uh, it's a bit broad because we didn't add the rental part. But uh, the smaller the keyword, the higher the volume, the bigger, the longer the keyword, uh, the less the volume, but it's more focused and concentrated. So it's considered, this is a short tail keyword. If we add the word rental and anything else, it's considered a long tail keyword. Always try to dominate both uh, short tail and long tail keywords. All right, so just wanted to put that out there. And so let's go ahead and run a scan. And when we run a scan, we're gonna go ahead and choose how, what's the proximity, okay? So we're gonna run a scan. And for this one, we're gonna run the scan since you have you know over 30 reviews. We're going to run the scan with the file five miles. So we're going to see how you are looking to Google when people go on their maps, on their Google search engine and type in 360 photo booth, right? We're going to see how you uh, stand out. And that's what we're going to do right now, ladies and gentlemen, is we're going to go ahead and wait for the report here together. Uh, once again, I want to thank you guys for supporting the Patreon page. So we have a lot of work to do here. Uh, Bigfoot events. We have a lot of work to do because for that word that we're trying to rank for, as you guys can see, uh, within that five mile radius, we're just not covering enough ground. Okay, so what does that translate to? So what? Basically, what you want is you want to be green all the way around. But right here, you are in thirteenth place for that keyword. Right here, you are in eighth place. But right here, uh, right in the center, uh, you're coming in in second place but you're just covering uh, just not enough area. So what I would do is on your Google profile where it's products and events, constantly put uh, updates. And on top of that, when you guys go to your here, I'm gonna show you guys, um, I'm gonna show you guys. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and download this here so that I can send it to the Patreon member here. I believe I can download it here. It's here. And download map image, download data point, download scan report. Yeah, I'm gonna download it as a PDF. And then I'll send it to the Patreon member here. All right, so that's that's gonna take a few seconds. So what I was basically saying earlier is when you guys download it, this little bar is scanning away. I'm gonna hop into my Google profile really quick to give you guys a visual of what I am trying to explain here. So when you guys are on your Google profile, I want you guys to come in here twice a week, if, especially if you guys don't have any business and it's slowed down drastically, now you have more time. More time to do what? More time to market. More time to get familiar with SEO. More time to start pivoting in the right direction, making the right moves and not wasting your time and energy doing other things, okay? So if we come over to where it says, where is it at? Where's add an update? There you go, add an update. Guys, I want you to use this as much as possible. Continuously add offers, but most importantly, always add an update. When you guys add that update, you guys have 1500 characters to add a description. And this is where you're gonna hit it with hard keywords long tail keywords, short tail keywords, okay? So it's as easy as going into chat GPT. I'll give you guys an example. Uh, I'll, it's, it's so easy going to chat, chat, chat GPT. And I am gonna go into chat GPT right now and show you exactly what I mean, okay? So I think uh, this was out in Ohio. Was it in Ohio? Yeah, so Township, Ohio, okay. So I would say something like this. Please write a fun and captivating captivating post for my Google profile my business for my for my party rental business focus on the 360 photo booth service include include 
my city, uh, what was it? Uh, town, uh, Fairfield Township, Ohio. This is, this is gonna help. Include, include high volume relevant keywords to help help with ranking enter okay sweet so now it's doing this for you and all you have to really do is copy and paste now it's still going and it's still going and eventually what you wanted to do is you can tell it and, and it also included some hashtags right here guys and say, for example, you can even put in your name and your, your, your business name and number, and then it's going to plug that in where it says your number or your website URL. So if this is too long and it's more than the 1,500 characters, what you can say is, please make this 150, uh, 1,500 characters long, like that. Okay, so now it's going to just... Uh, keep it at 1500 characters. And now all you have to do is copy and paste. Okay. That's what I want you to, guys to do. I want you guys to do that. Post pictures and videos. All right. So this is some of the secret sauce that I haven't put up on YouTube just yet, because if I continue putting valuable information out there and no one's paying for it, no one's really going to care. And, and quite honestly, it's, it, this is information that really, really works. And I just find it very valuable and it would break my heart for me to take this much energy to put it in a in a place where people, like I said, take a quick glimpse, but they're not really serious about their business. So they're not really going to apply any of this. All right. That's just the truth, guys. And that's 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 what you're going to get with me is just straight up uh, facts. So let's go ahead and dive into the next one. All right. So we're going to take a look at two more here. Let me take a look at we're going to look at two more. So we're going to go with. OK, now we have Lux. Now, let's. I'm going to move this to the top here so it's not getting in the way. So Lux is a website. It looks neat. It looks clean. As you guys can see, this is this is kind of what I meant by you guys can put uh, videos and information, but keep everything compact, compressed. Because right here, people can get a visual of three different uh, videos, and they're all within that little small section, okay? But I'm curious to see what the SEO is going to be looking like because remember what we said earlier, it could be a beautiful website. It could be nice and simple, but what matters the most is how is it going to be indexed, right? So when it's when the bots uh, crawl this website, how is it going to be indexed? How is it going to be categorized? And so uh, I like the fact that they're putting here uh, companies that they worked with in the past that gives them credibility, especially if it's a company that's actually looking for a photo booth for their company event, then they get to see like, oh, these folks are professionals because they've dealt with businesses. So I want to do B2B. That's business to business. All right. So uh, 300, uh, three hours for $1,600. That's what I'm looking at for the wedding bundle. And let's see. So that's the logo right there. And then there's a bit, the logo is big right here. And like I said, guys, it's, it's, it's somewhat repetitive. Uh, we could have used this space uh, for something else, but I know that a lot of us are very proud of our business. So we just want to tell everyone, boom, this is my logo. This is my business. Check out the logo I paid uh, to get, you know, designed. So remember, guys, the most important thing is making it very easy for the person to book and understand what you're offering and how much it is and where you are located. All right. So I'm just going to go to services out of curiosity right here. So there is a good amount right here of information. And this information does have keywords like 360 photo booth right there. So that's good. It has a platform and then 360 again right here. So that's what you want to use. You want to constantly use that keyword. And you also always want to include your city. All right. So you want to include your city. Let's go ahead and let's just go to book now out of curiosity. So. Um, it looks like they're using Wix because mine looks identical to this, the layout. I like Wix. It, it gives you a very clean look. Let's go ahead and dive into your Instagram really quick here. All right, so this is actually a, a good example. So earlier we talked about just this. So remember, 
Just keep it really simple. 360 photo booth, glam and digital photo booth, audio guest book, uh, cold sparks. So for the cold sparks, I would change it to cold sparkler machines. When I ran the keyword on, on Google, cold sparkler machines ha had a higher search volume. That's another thing I want you guys to do. I want you guys to go onto your Google you know, laptop and, and type and, and go to, it's called Google keywords, right? And what Google does is you type in a keyword and it tells you how much search volume that keyword has and it shows you other uh, related keywords as well. That's called Google keyword planner, all right? Google keyword planner. All right, so uh, Lux Entertainment Rentals LLC, good job on the Instagram right here, okay? I, I like the way you guys set up your profile right here. So um, very, very well, well done. And as I scroll down, I can see some decent videos and decent photos. So that's cool. I like how you kind of bring everything in and 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 uh, people can get an understanding of pretty much exactly what you guys offer, okay? So that's sweet. Congratulations. Uh, let's go ahead and get back to the website right here. Let's go back to the website and let's go bring out that SEO tool and run an analysis right here. All right, let's do this. So H1, 360 photo booth, solid. That's good. Uh, another H1, other party rental services in the greater Houston area. So right here, it's actually going to pick up party rental services, and it's also going to pick up Houston area. So the H1, is it's, it's definitely a longer keyword because we put an other uh, in the greater. So, But it still works. It's still much better. Uh, then the profile that we looked at earlier where it just had a dot, okay, guys? So like I said, uh, this is a compare and contrast because there's some of us that are excelling in other areas and there's some of us that have strengths and weaknesses. And this is why it's so cool now that I have a Patreon page because we're coming from different walks of life. We all have strengths and weaknesses. And this is the most beautiful part that we get to come together as a community and help each other out by sharing things that, you know, we were presented with early in life and now we become, a, I would say, a little bit better than other people than the average Joe. And this is information we can share with one another to help each other grow. H1, another one, make your wedding event of the year. So instead of making the wedding event of the year, I would put probably something like uh, 360 photo booth wedding services or something to do with the word with wedding, but also combining it with the type of service you're providing and the city that you are servicing the most. So uh, best photo booth rental in Houston, uh, anything, like I said, to, to bring those words together. <clears throat> and, uh, and then we have H2 says offering all of your party needs. So like I said, let's focus on those golden keywords and as you guys can see, watch, I'm going to show you guys uh, so you guys can make more sense uh, out of this. So where it says 360 photo booth, that's where it was. This is where uh, it picked this up, H1. And then even though it's right below it, it's still an H1 on the second one, H1 and other. So right here, right, the, uh, this is the second part it's reading, right? So I'm basically showing you what the algorithm sees when it's being... Uh, when it, it indexes a website and what we see when we're looking at a website. So if I scroll down this, this next title right here, make your wedding the event of the year, uh, that is the, the third section H1 right here. So that's, that's what we're looking at. So I wanted to show you this part so you guys can get more of an understanding of how is it picking up this H1? Like, how do I word it? How do I know where this goes? And if you guys didn't work on your own website, um, go ahead and share this video with your designer or your freelancer and tell them, hey, you have to make my website really SEO friendly. Here are the keywords that I want my website to rank for, okay? All right, Lux, entertainment, rentals, uh, solid. Just a little bit of a, you know, just a little bit of work. And uh, the website is solid, but this is very light. This is a very light analysis because what matters is what's also going on within the website. Uh, when you're creating the website, there are certain pages that you can have a certain SEO to. So that's another conversation because then it gets a little bit more, uh, not, not exactly complex, but just more information that I would have to 
dive into. And I think a separate video for that specific type of information for SEO would be necessary. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at your GMB. So for you guys, 360 Photo Booth Rental Lux Entertainment Rentals LLC, I would definitely change the GMB category to uh, to to photo booth because you guys are fixed. You know, you guys are focused and concentrated on a 360 photo booth service. You guys are, from what it looks like, you guys aren't renting chairs, uh, you know, portable heaters or anything like that. So I would change your GMB category to photo booth versus party equipment rental service and then still leave the party equipment rental service, but don't make it your main GMB category. This is gonna hurt your rankings, guys, when you guys are in the wrong category. But by the way, congratulations on your 29 reviews. I, I like how the, the client added their photos. Uh, these carry a lot of weight. So one way I look at reviews, guys, is when it comes to reviews, just know that the best marketing is not even SEO. The best marketing is your actual client because this client, for example, Osvaldo Leon, who left a review two months ago, is still echoing out into the universe. So when a new person comes in, is going to see Osvaldo Leon got the stamp of approval going on. So there's no better marketing than your actual client's word of mouth or uh, recommendation, but better yet, a review that the world gets to see for the entirety uh, life of the business. And this is why I am so driven to get reviews, Google reviews, because I understand how much weight it carries and how much more money it could bring for you because these are the very best leads. Please don't forget this. These are the very best leads to get. And the fact that they put a um, photos that adds, like I said, it makes a, a more wholesome review. So good job on that. I encourage you guys to have your clients do that as well, if if uh, if possible. Um, and so let me see the newest. So they received the review about four days ago. So you know, I want to say there's a pretty big gap two months ago to four days ago. So try to get guys at least three reviews per event. I really don't know why you guys are not, you would not be able to execute at least three e, uh, you know, reviews per event. Now, I do know that sometimes things get hectic and chaotic, especially if there's something that's malfunctioning or, or just like a crowd full of chaos. But I still feel within those two hours, minimum two hours of just you know, being there at the present moment, there's no reason why you guys can't engage a 60 second conversation with someone that's smiling, having a good time because of your service that would not take five or 10 seconds to leave you a very quick review right there on the spot. OK, so basically saying, guys, don't give yourself an excuse on why you are not getting at least three reviews an event minimum three reviews an event. OK. All right. So that's that. So let's do this, too. Let's go ahead and, and uh, see how. We're stacking up against the competition when it comes to putting your information into local Falcon. Let's go see how that looks. So we're going to run a new scan. I got 107 credits left. Oh, look it. We found it. Thank goodness, man. That took me a while. Well, not me, but the system. All right. So we are going to see how we are looking for the word. Uh, 360 photo booth rental is the keyword that we want to see how we're ranking. Uh, and I, it's right up here. And we're going to just leave it at five miles. When you guys start ranking and you guys are completely green, and I'm, and, and I'm going to go ahead and run it and talk at the same time. When you guys are using this tool, Local Falcon, and you guys go from a three mile radius and then realize like, oh man, I'm all in the green, then that's a good indicator. That means that people are calling your business and you are getting some traffic. And then you said, okay, they're all green now. Now I want to continue like expanding and start reaching it further out proximity. And then you guys go from three miles to five miles. Right now I'm running it at five miles. And as you guys can see, given the amount of reviews they had, their website, their Google profile, uh, all those things you know, mixed in, you guys can see that they are almost all green within a five mile radius. All right, so right here in this area, they have this entire area. So if anyone looks for them in this area, 
they're going to pop up first on the Google Maps. They're going to pop up on the very top of the Google profile search engine when folks are looking for them in this area. Now, if we go to view the actual scan report, you guys are going to be able to see what competitors are actually getting a bigger piece of the pie, meaning get, getting more attention. So actually, you guys are doing okay, right? Because you guys are here in first place within a file mile radius. And then in second place, you have this company called 360 Events Photo Booth. They have 223 reviews. What does that mean? Well, that means that what I mentioned earlier is something that has to be practiced every single event, and that's get at least three reviews for every event, a minimum of three reviews, okay? Because what you, what you guys want is, right now it's only a five mile radius. If you guys wanna get more leads, more bookings, then you guys have to be green all the way around, get one here, a one here, one everywhere. So replace the threes and the fours with ones everywhere. And that'll be an indication showing that people are calling you, uh, people are booking with you and people are leaving re you reviews. And therefore, local Falcon sees as a company that's getting reviews, getting traffic, is getting, um, you know, is basically, here's the thing, is getting clicks. And therefore, you guys will come up more and more and more and be more relevant. And then you become a monster. And that's what I want to create here in the Patreon page. I want to create monsters. And let's go ahead. And so that was that. Downloaded that report. Earlier, I was saying that it's possible to get green uh, within a five mile radius and it's doable. And like I said, I've accomplished that. And now my new goal is to rank out like a 25 mile radius. That way I started getting bookings further out. And also, like I said, dominating that word 360 photo booth rental and then dominating the word 360 photo booth. And then later on dominating the word photo booth rental and audio guest book and so on and so forth. And that's how you guys, are. like I said, it's, it's so much better that you guys focus on your Google profile your website is definitely going to carry some weight, but it's not going to be as imperative to have a solid Google profile because the Google profile is what's going to be bringing in those leads, guys. All right, so um, as you guys can see, I start off with the 360 photo booth and I've been mostly about the 360 photo booth, but then I started focusing on photo booth rental and within a 10 mile radius, I still got to step it up. You know, I'm at 40. I need to get to the high 90s, but... Uh, at, but to, to show you guys as well that the 360 photo booth for that keyword, I'm killing it, guys. 25 mile radius, a 92. I'm just going to give you a visual so you guys can see how that looks here really fast. And then we'll move on to the last uh, website and Google profile we're going to be reviewing. So this is uh, this is what I've been able to accomplish, guys, is I it, it's just I'm so... I'm happy looking at this because I know how hard I worked for this. And so just to see all this green within a 25 mile radius, remember earlier, the ones that we were looking at was a five mile radius, but this is 25 miles, which is five times more of the proximity spread out for this keyword. Yeah, I'm doing a pretty good job. And for right here, as you guys can see, there's some heavy competition going on in the Santa Ana area, Orange County. And trust me, there's some, some quality competitors there. And that's okay. They can have a piece of the pie, but I'm coming and I'm going to come strong and I'm going to be aggressive and assertive because, uh, you know, the good guy, you know, the David is, that you guys probably met a year ago. I changed a lot, man, because business. I love sports. I'm very athletic and like business is a sport. And so now that we are on the same team, you know, I'm ready to rock it out with you guys. Cool. All right. Let's go ahead and move on to the, the last one here. All right, so we have a build uh, best events. And from what I understand is, I could be wrong, but I think this is the individual who just barely got started on both their Google profile and website. So uh, congratulations, by the way, uh, you know, just launching a business is, is, is amazing. So congratulations on just moving forward and saying, hey, I, I'm gonna go ahead and move forward with this. I'm done procrastinating. I'm done planning. It's time for me to start you know, moving forward and become a practitioner and, and put things into practice. So big ups to you. And now let's see what stands out to me here the most. The most is, well, this is actually new. I've never seen this before. I've never seen someone put their booking section like right at the very, very top right here, like right in your face. It's basically like saying, hurry up and buy. Uh, but that's cool. You know, like we can definitely try that concept. Like I said, I've never seen someone with the, the booking right out here, the availability, which is which I think is pretty interesting. Um, and then it's right here again. So this, this individual has a website like saying, Hey, we are ready. 
Like when you're ready, I'm ready. Like we're ready. Let's go book. So we are on a mission to turn your uh, event into an experience, pictures and videos, and then the 360 photo booth and what it includes. Okay. And if I go to book my booth right here, see what I don't, let's see here. Let's see. If I go here, I go here, and then I go here. It says, there are currently no services available for your date. Please back and choose a different date. Okay. What I don't understand is the booking ID. To view your booking details, please enter your booking ID number and the surname of the person submitted. So this, like I said, I, I don't know exactly what it means. I've never seen it, but this goes back to just try to simplify everything for the potential uh, client. So if I click on this logo, it takes me back to the page. Oh, here's here's something that I hope helps you guys. It says launch pricing August 14th through September 14th. Use code launch for an additional 50% off. I would reword this. The reason I would re uh, reword this is because you don't want the client to say, oh, this is a brand new business. They have no experience. You know, So it's actually better if you remove the launch pricing and say, summer deal right or summer promotion from that way they know that you guys are an established business and you guys are not barely launching people like hiring people with experience people like hiring professionals so that's the only takeaway that uh that stood out to me just now i just popped up i almost missed it so yeah like i said i would reconsider using the word launch and and using the word more like uh like i said summer promotional deal or, or some something along those lines just to just so that you give your business the, you know, people can perceive it as it's an established business. Because like I said, the website is not bad looking. And so uh, it would just make more sense for me if if I was looking a book to hire someone with experience. Okay. All right. Wait, wait a minute. Let's go look at your uh, Instagram really quick here. Okay. Build your best event. 360 photo booth rental, wedding, corporate. So uh, these are very... Uh, these are what you would call a short keywords and keywords are short keywords are very broad. So I would, uh, like I mentioned earlier, focus on making this more driven towards your business, towards your location of what you're offering so that your actual social media Instagram starts ranking on its own, just as a standalone Instagram profile. It's possible. It's happened to me. Uh, and if I can do it, you guys can do it because it's basically the same uh, strategy. All right. But let's go back to your website and run an, an analysis raw here. All right, so your H1. Your H1 reads event photo booth in Ann Arbor, Detroit, Toledo. That's solid. It's a longer tail keyword, but it talks about what you're offering and where you're located. Uh, I would probably, the only thing I would probably change is I would add 360 to the photo booth especially if you don't have a selfie booth yet. If you have a selfie booth, then that's great. But since it seems like you only have a 360 photo booth, and I could be wrong, but if you only have a 360 photo booth, I would focus on the actual keyword 360 photo booth in Arbor, Detroit, Toledo. H2, capture every single and cherish every moment. That That is not something that you're going to need. Uh, try focusing more, like I said, on the services you're providing and where you are located. And it's going to be the same type of feedback all the way down, your H2, your H2, your H2 here, and like I said, your H3. So try to reword this, uh, reword it to a point where you're just hitting those keywords every single time, okay? Uh, and, and and you should start, like I said, uh, little by little, getting richer with the SEO on your website. So with that being said, Let's go ahead. Um, I don't know if you submitted a Google profile for me. I don't think so. Let's see, did you, is there a Google profile? One thing guys, I'm glad I just remembered. When you guys have your website, make sure everyone that's watching, make sure you have your GMB, your, your Google Maps embedded inside of your website. That's also a huge deal. So uh, if you guys have a freelancer or a web designer, let them know, hey, please make sure to include my Google profile map in my website. That's a huge deal. Um, that's definitely going to help you guys. And I'm glad I just remembered that last minute, but this is what it's all about. It's me uh, just kind of diving into something and just finding that flow and, and trying to spit out as much value as possible. 
before before God calls me, right? So, oh, here we go. We have another one here. We have another, uh, I don't think I've, I reviewed this website. So let's go ahead and review this website right here. Um, shrink everything down, guys. Remember, just kind of like, yeah, compress everything. Compress everything here. Uh, let's see, get in touch. Let's look at your quick Instagram. We'll do a, a SEO page analysis on this one as well. So yeah, so the I get it like the, the bullet points or whatever you guys want to call these. These aren't called bullet points, but you guys get what I'm putting down. Uh, turn these into longer keywords, okay? Uh, we I talked about this earlier. I don't want to keep repeating myself, but please uh, go ahead and, and change those. And even right here on the very top, it, since your name is already up here, what I would do is because you're starting, because see, when you are barely starting off, you want to make very, you want to make it very easy for the algorithm to index you. And quite honestly, the algorithm doesn't know yet who 360 Memories by BK is. But what you could do is put 360 Photo Booth Rental and then the city that you stay in, because then that's going to drive traffic and you're going to get indexed much faster. And that's what you want. And later on down the road, when you start getting a lot of momentum, then that's when you can change your your name uh here all right so i hope that helps now let's go back to the website and um i want to see book today let's book now all right wait a minute more info All right, so, okay. This is much better than the other uh, column I ran into just earlier where it said book now. So two hours, 250. Yeah, these prices are are, are really low. And, and sadly, guys, um, just because there's so much people diving in, this is why it's so important to really strategize and think of a long-term plan to really wipe out the competition. Right now, I'm still able to make around $555 for a two-hour event. Uh, right here for your pricing, you put $75, $100 deposit, $120. Simplify it, okay? So what I would do is, okay, $100, $100 deposit for two hours, three hours, four hours. Make it very easy. Make it easier for yourself, right? So yeah, I would change the deposit just to, to just be the same across the board, right? Because people are reserving the time and date, and it doesn't matter if it's two or three or four hours. The fact is... Uh, you know, they're taking up that day, taking up your time, whether it's two or four hours, but the deposit should probably be the same to simplify things across the board. All right, now if I go to book now, uh, enter your phone number, enter your address, select time and event and time frame. Okay, but let's do this. Let's go back to the main page and check out the SEO. All right, so your H1 is your actual title, and the title is, of course, Welcome to 360 Memories by BK. Uh, and I sound like a broken record, right, by now? But hey, remember, guys, just your H1s are always going to be the keywords you are trying to rank for and also what your website or that part of your website is talking about. Uh, so constantly, guys, use your city that you're located in, you know, because where is this service located? What service are you providing? That's the most important thing. The best keywords I see right here, guys. Uh, can you guys hear me? All right, there's three of you guys watching right now. I want you guys to turn uh, turn on your microphones really quick for me, uh, and I want to see if you guys were paying attention for the for the guy, uh, people that are watching. Uh, thanks so much for tuning in. Now, from what we covered, guys, please tell me uh, just one or two of you guys out of all these uh, H right here, H one, H two, H three, right? Which two are are the best ones? Probably 360 the 360 photo, photo booth. booth, yeah, and the right. digital photo booth. There you go. So we're learning. So that's exactly uh, that's that's correct. So I'm glad you guys learned that on, on, on you know during this call or maybe before that. But at least you guys have the idea of what we're shooting for and what we want to accomplish. We want to start, you know, we want to start cashing out on these keywords because that's how we get found is through keywords, and that's why SEO is so important and the marketing aspect as well. But thank you guys for participating. Um, let me go ahead and 
By the way, who's on here? I want to know your guys' names. Um, I'm Treasure. Treasure, nice to meet I'm you. I'm Juan. Juan? Juan, nice to meet you, brother. All right, guys. So that pretty much wraps it up. I'm going to go ahead and I got to get the editing of this video. I'm going to upload it for the folks that didn't make it. But this is what I want you guys to focus on is really focus on your Google profile. Use the tools that I'm using right now. Make sure that you guys are running the, the analysis on your website and then start from there because bottom line is you have to make it extremely easy for people to find you for the service that you provide and where you are located. All right. So it was uh, it was nice here, uh, here being here with you guys. Just like I said, pouring my heart out and really showing you guys some of the fundamentals that are going to make drastic changes in your business. Uh, take care, guys. Enjoy the rest of your night. Thank you for all that info, David. Appreciate it. Absolutely. You're very welcome. Yes, David. Thank you so much. All right, guys. Take care.